Friends, today we celebrate the feast of John, the apostle and the evangelist. John was the youngest brother of Jesus, cousin brother, and he was a brother of James and a well-to-do fisherman known as the sons of Thunder, who assisted his father Zebedee. He was a disciple of John the Baptist until Jesus called him. John was the one of the disciples who was privileged to be with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, raising of Jairus' daughter, and also who reclined at the chest of Jesus. He remained at the foot of the cross and first to recognize the empty tomb and to recognize Jesus on the shore of the resurrection. But if John remained in Palestine for some 12 years and then went to Asia Minor and Ephesus where he founded and governed the seven churches. Word was a familiar term and denoted divine redeemer. It was in Ephesus that John wrote the Gospels and John preached God's love and urged others to love one another. St. John lived at Ephesus to a very advanced age. He was the last of the apostles to die and he is the patron saint of Asia Minor and this beautiful saint as we contemplate, as we meditate was very dear to Jesus. Let us also find a place in the heart of Jesus through our words and through our deeds. O glorious Apostle, who on account of thy virginal purity was so beloved by Jesus as to deserve to lay thy head upon his divine breast and to be left in his place a son to his most holy mother. I beg thee to inflame me with a most ardent love towards Jesus and Mary. Obtain for me from our Lord that I too, with a heart purified from earthly affections, may be made worthy to be ever united to Jesus as a faithful disciple and to Mary as a devoted son, both here on earth and eternally in heaven. Amen.